filling every Canadian stereotype of born with skates sort of thing. <laughs> I started playing hockey probably about two or three years old. I don't really remember, like I just always played it. We had like maybe just a bunch of kids all parked the same age and just play road hockey and I was the youngest one so got beat up and told to play goalie and do whatever but yeah it's still a blast to get out there and play. The beauty part about uh, adult league hockey and beer leagues is um, you don't get yelled at and care if you lose much. <laughs> like it's competitive, everyone wants to win, but everyone knows we all have jobs the next day. So I, I lived in Canada, a lot of hockey. Then I went to undergrad uh, in New York State. And then I slowly have like moved south through my career further from where hockey is like a norm. In tryouts, you used to be able to make it pretty far in hockey just being a fighter. And I'd say I'd probably get in like five to 10 fights a year. We probably shouldn't talk about that. <laughs> I think um, my first year at Oswego, I started the year, we had a great year. Uh, we, one of the, we ended up being ranked top, one of the top teams in the country. And then after that, we went to the NCAA tournament and like won the quarterfinals, got to go to the Frozen Four. We were up one nothing in the third period of the national championship game, but we ended up losing that. But that whole run was kind of a trip. I think two or three years ago, a handful of our senior, like more upper division students who I'd known through a few courses and that actually came out one Wednesday and watched. And they're like, I've never seen a hockey game, that was pretty cool.